Hey everybody, welcome to Big G Outdoors. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is the Archery Tracker app. So, I'm going to open it up here. And when you first open it up, it shows you how to set it up. And if you're right-handed, you have to wear it on your, your watch, your Apple watch on your right hand. If you're left-handed, you have to wear it on your left hand. And uh, what it does is it tracks your draw hand on three different planes um, in and out left and right and also forward and back okay so it shows you what axis everything is the blue line is the in and out so if your hand is close to your face or away from your face the red line the x is um forward and backward so you can actually see how far you drawing your bow with this and the um, Y is up and down so how far up and how far down it's actually pretty good it, it, it tracks every movement of your draw hand um, okay so like I said the setup page shows you how to set everything up and it tells you exactly what you need to do as far as orientation and um, it has settings here it has uh, a sensitivity I always keep it on high so I know exactly where I'm at Okay, so after our, you go to history here, and you see today, we go to our first one, and it shows, it graphs every um, shot. That's every shot that I did. And then if you actually hit on the graph section, it shows you on the plane how your draw was. So you can see I went back and up and a little away from my face that wasn't that great so if you look at the last shot this is actually what would be considered a perfect form straight back on the plane I mean it doesn't get much better than that the angle is because of how far I had to angle down because of the distance to the target so but if you see that, that is about as straight as you're going to get. And it's a, it's a nice thing in the app because it shows you every motion. And then if you want, you can go back and you can generate this and it'll show you. Oh. It'll show you every actual measurement for every plane. So you see it says X, Y, and Z, and it shows you the distances, how far. So you can go back and measure exactly how far you drew, how far away from your face you were, how far everything, you know, just, you're looking for consistency. All these graphs should look pretty similar. You can see this one, the red is a little bit higher. That means I came back a little bit further on this one than I did on this one. Inconsistent draw length. So what you want is, and like I said, the inconsistencies aren't bad. It, what you're looking for is to be the same every time. So 
granted you're going to have some inconsistencies because not everybody's going to have exact perfect draw length but those inconsistencies have to be the same every time and that's what gets your perfect form not somebody else's